Fasting should be done for God's purposes, for God's glory, for God's kingdom, for his will to be done. And it should be done in faith, you know. And there are different types of fasts in the Bible. And this is really personal. The type of fast that you choose to go on, it's personal. It's between you and God. But obviously, you know, certain fasts are probably more powerful than other fasts for obvious reasons, right? But we have to be wise. So if you're a nursing mom, if you're pregnant, etc., you be wise. If you've got difficult work or you have things that you have to do, be wise about how you choose to fast. Okay, so first of all, there's an absolute fast. That's no water and no food. And medical um, guidelines basically say max three days. So don't go more than three days on this type of fast. It's dangerous um, unless it's a supernatural fast, unless God has supernaturally graced you to do it. And Moses did it. Um, he underwent two of those for 40 days, okay? So it's possible, and I've heard of some people who've done longer, but it needs to be supernatural. Max three days, no water, no food. Then there's the complete fast, or the total fast, and that's the one where you only take water, okay? And Jesus did this. This is likely what Jesus underwent for 40 days when he was led into the wilderness after being baptized. Because afterwards it said, and after he fasted, he was hungry. It didn't say he was thirsty, right? So he likely underwent this type of fast. And then there are partial fasts, and there are many different types of partial fasts. There are juice fasts, people who take juice. There are fasts where people will not fast during the day, then they eat one meal at night, okay? And they break it at 6 p.m. or whatever. But please, if you're going to do that type of fast, don't eat like three meals worth of, of food, because <laughs> you know, that's just gluttony, okay? That's just gluttony, okay? And it's bad for your tummy, okay? There's a bread and water fast. I've heard of a number of people who've done this, where they go for a number of weeks just having bread and water. There's a Daniel fast in um, Daniel 1, verse 8, 12, and 16. It says, but Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of king's delicacies, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore, he requested that he might not defile himself and said, please test your servants for 10 days and let them give us vegetables to eat and water to drink. And so the steward took away their portion of delicacies. So there's a Daniel fast where you're operating on things of vegetable origin, okay? But these, that, that's a partial fast. So there are many different types. And the benefit of a partial fast is that you can do it for many days whilst maintaining your whatever hectic lifestyle that you have, right? Your normal activity, especially if you have manual labor, if you're doing a lot of stuff. So, yeah, those are the different types of fast that you can do. If you have medical conditions, please consult your doctor before you decide to go on any fast. If you have diabetes or anything like that, you know, don't do something extreme, like say, I'm going to go on a complete fast, but you've got diabetes or you've got a problem. You know, be wise. Speak to your medical practitioner. But do endeavor to grow in this discipline, right? 